So Vivek and I had been talking for a while. Uh, and, you know, a few years ago, you know, probably a year or so before I left Nike, he's educating me on this, uh, this new technology, these kind of transformer models coming out of Google uh, and some really interesting, you know, some really interesting technology there and what it's, po what it's you know, what's possible. This is before ChatGPT 3.5 comes out. Um, and we're building, we you know, started building this, this kind of customer behavior model that was using these transformer models to understand kind of the customer journey. If you think about chat GPT is basically a sequence model that's doing next best word. We started using kind of that same core technology to understand the customer journey and do next best action, right? What are we likely to think a customer is going to do next? based on this prompt of understanding everything that they've done in the past in the context of the, you know, the technology in front of them uh, or the, the products, uh, the products in front of them. And so we got, you know, we got excited about the idea. I, uh, we actually started talking to, um, you know, a couple of investors pretty early on. And then I left Nike um, and we started Simulate. Ironically, given my time at Indeca and like really kind of going after search and like Indeca, as we were acquired by Oracle, Lucene and solar and open source options were beginning to, um, you know, kind of really take some market share. And it's like, okay, that's more commoditized at this point. And it's, you know, it's going to go more of an open source route. Um, I thought search was a solved problem. It's not a solved problem. Like that experience of being able to query and find kind of what you're looking for. Nobody's happy with it, right? There's a ton of, there's a ton of upside there. And this technology, this, this, these large language models that understand that it basically sucked up a bunch of information and understand customer intent and understand information about these products in a way that just wasn't possible before with keyword search or vector search, which is what people call AI search. Now it's, it's, you know, it's what, um, you know, Algolia, one of the, you know, the current companies, the legacy companies is, you know, very much keyword search focus. A company like Constructor is very much the AI search, but it's, it's more vector search. Um, we believe very strongly that the, the future is a large language model driving that experience. And that's, we've built what we call customer GPT. It's a generative free train transformer model uh, that can understand the context of a customer and kind of the, the, the intent of what they're looking for, as well as knowing a lot of information about their particular type of products. And you can query this and have a conversation, right? And the other upside of this technology is it can be conversational, right? The idea of saying, rather than just saying like uh, black crew neck, sweater or shirt you can say um like hey i really i really like the lululemon abc pant do you have anything similar right or i'm going to a taylor swift concert the eras tour what should i wear this is where i think it's going to be a really interesting next couple of years because everybody is going to have to replatform their 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 stack to leverage whether it's simulate or not but i think we're in I think we're in a really interesting position to be able to capitalize against that over the next couple of years. Here, here we are a year and a half later, we raised a $5 million series seed back in June of 23, right when we were kicking off. And about a month ago, uh, we closed on a $28 million series A round. And with this raise, Spark Capital, uh, led the round. Um, Alex Finkelstein at at, uh, at, at Smark is uh, is on our board now, and they've you know along with uh, you know some other great investors and our seed investors at uh, at Pillar and and Sierra, we we're set up to with twenty eight million dollars in the bank to really kind of go after this because we also think time is of the essence. Like it, the time is now to kind of capitalize on on this opportunity. So our, our, whole, our whole goal in the first year was to build a platform, find product market fit, get some early adopter customers who were willing to work with us and go on the journey, you know, go on that journey with us um, and uh, get them live and get metrics about how well the technology works for them. And we have five early customers where we've been doing that, we've been successful at that. And honestly, with a, with a couple of them where that are using our full platform, 
they're the numbers that they're seeing from a conversion perspective are honestly wildly exceeding what we were what I was expecting. We're going to grow the team. Uh, we have to grow the team <laughs> and, and data science and engineering are at the heart of kind of what we need to, what we need to build in terms of, you know, around the, around the product. Um, we're, we have an office in Boston in the downtown crossing area. Uh, we're looking to have folks come into, you know, we want folks to be together, um, uh, and be there. So, you know, not everybody is here in Boston. We're not, you know, completely militant about that, but we are, uh, we are very much uh, trying to kind of keep and grow kind of the, uh, uh, the the office and the community here in Boston. We'll also hire, you know, our hiring go to market folks, right? Ahead of sales, ahead of pre-sales and, and, and customer success. Uh, we'll be you know, looking at some marketing folks in the near term. So we, we are hiring. So we're getting we're getting after it.